Hey guys, Mo here. I was just cleaning out some drawers and I found this old crappy Lenovo Tab 3 tablet. I've played around with it, it's useless. Even the YouTube app doesn't work and I can't update it. And the more I use it, the slower it gets. So I thought, what can I use this tablet for? How about a super cheap server or NAS, a network attached storage device? Now what I need to install is free apps and software that would allow me to download Linux OS via torrents. So I need transmission, network file sharing, and a a server that allows sharing of multimedia to my smart TVs, so a DL and a server. Now the first thing I did was I rooted the device. Why? Because I wanted full control of the tablet, so just in case I need to, I could delete the bloatware, stop useless processes and so forth. It took me a bit to figure out, but if you are doing this on Ubuntu or another Linux based operating system, use sudo slash root to ensure that the procedure is completely rooting properly. Without sudo root, I was able to complete the commands and procedures, but it did not actually root the device. To take note guys now to make it easier on myself and everyone else out there all the apps i got were straight from the play store the first thing i downloaded was transmission i needed a reliable BitTorrent client to download the linux operating systems through torrents luckily for me it is compatible with android os 5 once the setup was complete it was perfect i organized my downloads to save in the downloads folder on the tablet and it will also enable the web remote control function so i could add torrents from any device on the home network next up is to actually get the nas and server aspect up i did a quick google search and i was recommended servers ultimate it's an app for Android that allows the possibility of running a multitude of different servers including DL, NA and Samba. Apparently for the Samba server, by default no root, you're easily able to connect to the share if you're connecting from a Mac device. But for Linux and Windows, you do need to do some modifications on the Windows and Linux devices. However, with my rooted tablet, I still needed to modify my Windows to allow connecting to Samba shares because the app uses SMB version 1 protocol. Basically, version 2 and 3 are fine, but for security reasons, Windows by default blocks version 1. Again, this can be easily disabled in the settings, allowing you to connect to a Samba share that uses version 1 protocols. I chose the Samba native server. Setup for the Samba was pretty straightforward. I created a user account and password, named the share and chose the folder to share. No issue. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I actually really like this app. Next up is the DLNA native server, which was pretty much straightforward. I chose my folder, titled the server. It worked great, no complaints. However, the free app only allows two servers to be active at any given time, which is fine for what I need. Now let's give it a quick test run. First, I checked if transmission worked. I did a quick test run with a random torrent, collected some data such as the max possible speed. I want to also see if it being a Wi-Fi device, can it still hold up to being used as a server and so forth compared to a LAN server. And the second was to simply see if the network transfer speeds holds up. What I did third was to check out the DLNA server. It works great, especially being so far away from the router and still being able to stream full HD without any lag. It is amazing. I did not expect to get such great usage out of this tablet. Decent transfer of speeds through Samba and DLNA, no lag, and finally the tablet is doing something useful. Even though it's outdated, it's now sprung back to life. I am chuffed. I used to get annoyed every time I would see this tablet because I couldn't use it for anything. But now it's doing something that I actually need. It's being utilized. Now to add icing to the cake, I 3D printed a bracket and found a short USB cable and now da da! It's now properly mounted to my router, best possible location in regards to Wi-Fi connectivity. And the, the router does have a USB port that I can use to keep the tablet charged. The display can be used in a way it is intended to display. For example, it can be used to display torrents or even storage info. Very useful. Wow! The project was pretty simple. I think most of the time consuming part was the rootifying of the Lenovo tablet. I do recommend routing if you're going to use Service Ultimate just to make it easier on yourselves. I 100% recommend this. This is great. I am seriously happy about how well this worked out. It's great for anyone who's looking for a very cheap NAS slash home server solution. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media platforms. I'm pretty active on them. Toodle-doo. See you in the next video.